first. <laughs> this film is about people changing each other, or they're mm. changing because of what they go through. How did this film change you? Could you put that into words? Mm. I, I meant the making of it, obviously. Um, well, I never, it was the first time that I had that kind of responsibility. Um, I've always been very fortunate to contribute to stories in, in a more limited way. And, and this was the, f the first time in which there was a, a good degree of the time I was at work and there all day, every day, you know, or all day during the week, you know. And um, so to, to shoulder that, to shoulder more responsibility than I'd been accustomed to shouldering, to have to play a character that, that had attributes that were very different from my own, so therefore I had to, to let certain things go that were in my personality in order to, to take on and embrace other attributes that that man had. Um, it, was, it was constantly sort of having, sort of negotiating and finding my way to locking into a truth and finding his essence, you know? And so I was really just grateful for failing and succeeding in, at, at times and just fishing through it all, digging and excavating and collaborating with Vigo. Um, so I'm sure I didn't answer your question, oh, no. but uh, you know, it, it, was, it was difficult and beautiful and um, very grateful to have gone on the journey. We're gonna come down here to 217 and then back to 23. Hi, Jenny Montero from German TV Pro 7. Congratulations. Thank you. What is going on? It's your second Oscar for a supporting <laughs> role. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel very fortunate. I feel fortunate to, be, to have been nominated. Uh, any of those gentlemen could have been up here. It would be obviously deserving of being up here. They, they did wonderful work, beautiful work, uh, work that inspired me. Um, so. To be the one that was chosen to get to hold this trophy uh, again, it's not something that I take lightly. It's not something I take for granted. Um, uh, if anything, it makes me uh, aware, more aware of all the people that have really contributed to my life. Um, from childhood to my team that <laughs> works on my behalf and, and and is always looking to, to take advantage of the best opportunities, the opportunities that are a fit for me. And, um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. Um, this, the first one helped me get Green Book, you know? Uh, I don't think if I had had one, I, don't, I wasn't just getting offers like that, you know? And so um, to, to get an Oscar for Moonlight, it changes your profile, it changes it, it, it gets you in other rooms and, and it, it shines a light on your work. And then suddenly you could have been around for 15, 20 years and suddenly people notice you. And so I'm really grateful for that because I've been wanting to work and expand and stretch. I want, I've been wanting to stretch my legs for a really long time. And this was the first time I got to stretch my legs. Okay. Um, we're going to 23 and I'm being told I have to wrap it up. I'm really sorry. I'm to your right, sir. How you doing? Good, brother. Joel, the American Urban Radio Networks. You kind of touched on what I was going to ask you a little bit about the um, failing and succeeding. Mm. And then you, when you, I just wanted to know what was you thinking when you, after Moonlight, mm. the time that it takes to come to now, did you ever feel that failing and succeeding from like Moonlight to now? Or did some things that you thought would happen since Moonlight didn't happen? Can you speak to those things when you? Um. Look, my life is, has changed tremendously since in two years. Uh, my daughter just had her second birthday two days ago, you know? Um, and I was busy in that time, you know, working. But I think when I say success and failing, I, I think of them as the same thing in that as long as you walk away having been improved, having learned from the experience, that is all an education, you know? And, um, and, and so there's things that I try in my work 
where I personally watch and I feel like it worked or sometimes I feel like it, did, it didn't work. <laughs> and, and I try not to be too hard on myself, but I gotta just go for it and, and, and take chances and commit and, and see how things turn out. All with the goal of improving and growing and being stretched and, and also just making a contribution. I just, wanna, I just wanna feel like I'm being productive with my time on this earth you know, and because I just don't take that for granted. And um, so I will continue to fail and I'll hopefully continue to succeed and, but I, and, and continue to make, make my best efforts and uh, to do the best work that I could possibly do and be the best person I can be. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.